Hi, this is RF Upson and Son taking you through a very important check and fault finding procedure that can be done on your engine. If for some reason the engine is overheating and this light is illuminated and the buzzer is sounding, it's immediately recommended that you turn the engine off. One possible cause of this, which can be fixed by, by you, is that you've blocked the raw water inlet which cools the engine. Water is sucked up from the bottom of the boat through a pipe and into the engine. If the inlet becomes blocked, usually due to mud, it can mean that the engine is then starved of coolant. To, to check this, you simply come round to your aft locker. Past the battery switch, you should see the raw water strainer. The first thing to do is to turn the valve off, which is located behind it. It needs to be pushed at a right angle to the strainer, as can be seen here. You can then undo this top. The best way to do this is to put a screwdriver between the two prongs and twist round as such. Once the top is off, you should find a gauze inside there. The gauze could be blocked with mud. Clean the gauze out. Another thing you could do, if you find that the gauze is actually okay, is that the actual hole at the bottom where the water is sucked through could be blocked with mud with a plug. To do that, to clear this, get yourself a small stick or something of a small diameter, about two to three millimeters and about 30 centimeters long. Turn the inlet back on briefly. Be warned, there may be water come back up through this at this point, so you may need to quickly turn it back off. To turn it into the upright position and push the stick down through to the towards the bottom of the boat to clear any mud out. As soon as you do this, you may find water starts to bubble up through the strainer. Don't worry too much, as long as you can turn the handle back off. Once it's clear and the handle is back off, reinsert the gauze and put the lid back on. Tighten the lid with a screwdriver so it's just nipped tight. Then make sure that you put the handle back in the upright position, like so. Make sure at all times that handle is always in this position. You can then come back round to your engine and start the engine again. If after doing this it still alarms at you, you really need to contact us.